on Bye My Sister's Kissing and Address, Madrina Ti. <laughs> We're going quinceañera dress shopping! Hair is looking a little bit crazy because I didn't do it. I had braids in my hair and I just took them out really quickly. I'm gonna make it do like this today. I also put on this really cute like flower dress that I got from Target. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, subscribe right now so you can get more of this bomb content. But that would also mean that you don't know who Nelly is. Nelly, this girl right here, is my sister turning 15 years old next year in April. So like pretty much in like 11, 10 months. I told her like months ago, I was like, I will buy your Quintana dress when time comes. And honestly, I didn't think it was gonna come this fast. And now we're here. I'm gonna go dress shopping with her. I'm gonna pay for a Quintana dress. Pretty much I told her she could get any dress she wanted. I don't really know how much Quintana dresses go for nowadays, but hopefully it's not more than like $5,000. Anyway, I went to the gym yesterday. I did arms. And I'm holding the camera right now and I literally cannot hold it any higher because it hurts so bad So I'm gonna put it right here and just bend down because it's the easiest option But today's game plan is basically to get Nelly's quinceañera dress Yay! Finally because her quinceañera is like I said like 11 months from now or 10 months from now And I think it's taking quite a while to like get the dresses in by what we have heard So we're going to downtown LA and that is where I got my quinceañera dress That's where Natalie got her quinceañera dress my other sister But first I want to tell you guys about winter and so excited to tell you guys about these 100% cotton tissues that I have been using all over my home. These are the tissues I'm talking about. These are winter tissues that are 100% cotton. The reason why I have been loving these tissues so much in particular is because they're so versatile. They are chemical free and unscented, naturally biodegradable, and they're healthy for even a baby's sensitive skin. For all you mommies out there, they're perfect to clean a baby's mess after a meal, clean baby's teeth, eyes, and bottom. At home, I have been using them to clean messes in the kitchen. I have a packet in my car for any messes, spills. I have a dog now, so Bailey in the back seat makes a whole mess, so I have these on hand to clean the window or the seats. They're perfect, wet or dry, so you can wet these and they don't rip or anything. I just wet this towel and as you can see, they're super stretchy and like it doesn't tear while well, speaking of wet I also use them to remove my makeup they're a lot more convenient than towels a towel can be really rough and it's easy to breed bacteria with long-term use they're super soft comfortable and these do not breed any bacteria if you have allergies like I do you'll know the struggle it is to always have to be blowing your nose and then it gets really irritated blowing your nose so much these are perfect to have these next to my nightstand I use them every single time I have a runny nose at night in the morning morning or when I'm in bed in general. They're so soft and comfortable. They don't irritate my nose. I love them so much. I definitely recommend you guys to get your hands on these winter tissues. They're amazing and you can use them for everything. I'm gonna leave the link in the description box. Go get your hands on them. I also have a discount code with them so make sure to take advantage of that. Let's get on with dress shopping. Thank you so much for winter for partnering with me on this portion of the video. You've made it to Mama Cuevas. I made it. Brought my snackies, water, and an omelet Ricardo made me. What color are we thinking? Blue. All right. Okay, well, for my kids and Yana, I wanted teal. And I ended up getting red. But, let's see, we will find out. Well, already can. Do you have any, like, designs in mind? Yeah. Show them design. This. Oh, I saw that one. It's super nice. It's, yeah. But not with the lights. I like, like, the I design. Cute. Yeah, yeah. Now we're gonna go to downtown LA. Uh, my mom is driving us there in her truck because y'all know I will not drive, especially not to downtown LA. Tito. My dad's right there. Where is Tito? I think he got off right now. Tito is joining the quinceanera dress shopping series today. Hey, Tito. Hi, Tito. What's up? You hardworking? Tito. Caso me casa pa el aire te pongo abanico We've made it to downtown LA. We're seeing the quinceanera dress spots. We're coming to a specific one, but if we don't find it there, we have other options here as well. I'm waiting on the elevator to go. Oh my gosh, are you ready? Are you ready? We're almost there. <laughs> Back to the camera now. We're gonna see when she comes out. It's gonna take them a long time to tell you, but this is my outfit.
see the back of the dress? So what are you thinking? I think we should go to the other stores too. Okay, Nell Nelly only got one. She could only try one dress on here. Before I commit to it, because I can try two more, but I have to commit to buying Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think we're going to go to another place. She can just try anything on, and if anything, we can always come back here. I really like that dress right there, though. No, In person, it's so pretty. pretty. And the one I tried on. The purple one? No, no, no the blue one up there. Oh, I think oh, they're yeah. the same, but I'm just different. another place, um, because this place... This will be like our last option. I think I have really, really pretty dresses. But their prices are also a little bit expensive. Oh All right, Tito. So, what did you think about the dress? Nine out of ten. I like the tail. You the didn't tail. like the tail? I said she, I like the tail. Oh, you did? Yeah. We're going across the street to that spot that has also a lot of dresses. This spot. No look there. There was very, very limited quantities. Like there wasn't many like to choose from, so we're going to we're gonna try to find the spot that Natalie and I well Natalie and I got our dresses from different spaces or like places, but they were like right next to each other. So we're gonna try to find those. They're on a different street, so we're gonna have to walk a different location now. And Nelly is liking this purple one. This one's a blue one too. Is this one as poofy as the other one? No, it is. It's, in, it's just this is a crinolina, Nelly. Oh. I love poofy dresses. Yeah, I think it'll be poofy. It just depends on the crinolina too. Like Natalie's crinolina was like double stuffed. Yeah. yeah. Mom and Tito are going to the restroom and we're just gonna keep looking around. Okay, let's go in here. Oh, is it this one the one they like? Yeah. No, oh, no that's this one's one. different. Yeah, yeah, I don't when, know. I, it's when I heard the price, I was like, yeah, the one that like, place we were just in right now, they were like so half the price yeah. of the ones at that one first spot. And I'm guessing the books are gonna be like 200, so it's gonna add up to less than what I'm gonna do. Yeah, so I think you should definitely, I told you we should look around. Do, the, do your reaction again, do your <laughs> Okay, we see, we see you, we see you. Thumbnail check. Nelly is super undecisive about everything I have. To, I feel like I, I have to I have to be the one telling her and then she'll be like, oh yeah. Like you're so like you want me to choose it for you type thing. This is your dress, ma'am. I don't know, it's hard for me to choose. I just they asked. Nelly's trying this dress on when my mom gets out of the restroom, but they have it in a baby blue. She's so hyped right now. How hyped are you? <laughs> Yeah. I think Nelly found the dress. I'm gonna try on one that's pink and lilac. It was like two colors just to make sure. But we think she liked the one she tried on right here. I'm so excited. She looks so beautiful. Also, my makeup is looking a little whack in here, but no pasa nada. put a crown on and she also has a cape but the cape is not here I know so you're gonna freaking fall I'm gonna lie with the crown <laughs> okay we can do a bigger crown I got her dress Ay, are you so excited my pockets are crying we have made it back to the car um, downtown LA is chaotic to say the least and we came on a weekday today is Tuesday Today's Tuesday now? Yeah. yeah, today's Tuesday. Um, and it was super cha chaotic. On weekends, I cannot imagine the amount of people there is. But thankfully, we were able to find an L.I. dress. It looks beautiful on her. We're going to come pick it up probably like eight months. I think she said January. But yeah, we're going to go out to eat because it's kind of hot. We're kind of hungry. We've been walking all morning. And yeah, let's go. What do you think I bought? A dress. A dress? A dress. Or a shirt. You're right, it was a shirt. Okay, a shirt. You like it? What does it say? Silver spoon, silver... That looks actually really nice. What? I bought it for you! How do you know I would wear something like that? Oh my god. As How do you know I would wear something like that? As soon as I saw it, I was like, this is for Ricardo. Oh, with these shorts for Saturday? Hi guys, it's a couple of days later, to be honest. I think it's been like more than a week later. 
What did I do last week? Pretty much nothing. I will say we did move our room around. So we didn't film it for my channel. We filmed it for Edith and Ricardo. So if you guys want to see the room makeover, go to our channel. It's not a makeover. It was just we kind of changes to our room and it looks really cute. That's pretty much major changes that have happened since the last clip. But right now I am about to go shopping with my mama. We're going to go grocery shopping. I don't know if you guys can tell how skinny I look. I'm just kidding. I've actually been really really good about eating healthy for the last couple of weeks and going to the gym oh my god did i just mess up my brows going to the gym for the last couple of weeks i had never implemented the gym into my routine before i would always say i'm eating healthy i'm eating healthy but i didn't actually go to the gym until now so we've actually gone to the gym i've been eating a lot of protein i've been working out felt like i need a little bit of kick into my life which is why we moved the room around and also i cleaned up the kitchen like the kitchen looks completely different I'll show you guys like what i've been eating slash what i've been buying right now i'm gonna go to the grocery store like i just said we're gonna go to walmart i think and we usually buy our groceries from costco supermarket or when we go to walmart we'll buy groceries there as well to be honest the groceries at walmart are pretty good my mom buys it from there sometimes and since she's going i'm gonna join her we will see what they have i think this is my second time buying them shopping with my mom and show you guys what i buy i'm gonna try to make it like you know a lot healthier show you guys my options i also bought some meal prep containers my curls not going with us also um i'm digging this like ponytail vibes like low pony Haley is trying to leave with me but she's not going anywhere she's staying right here stay here mommy is so hot in california right now i mean it is the summer but i feel like it's usually not this hot in june it's hot like in july august september also the new starbucks like pineapple drink came out and i haven't tried it so i'm gonna suggest to my mom we go there first and she's probably gonna say yes because she's a starbucks fanatic que piensas si vamos a starbucks si quiero probar el pineapple drink okay mom okay it's gonna be my first time so excited and then it is grocery shopping time mm -hmm. also it's all about the balance y'all like i know i just said i've been eating healthy but it's like it's about the balance that's what i've been learning and it's been working a lot oh okay do you have a strawberry acai yeah we do okay i'll do that with lemonade please they didn't have the fucking, fucking pineapple drink. No, I <laughs> no, I have to get a strawberry acai. I don't even like coming to Starbucks. Like, I only come to Starbucks when there's new drinks. I was coming for the pineapple drink and they said they didn't have it. So, vamos a tener que ir a otro Starbucks. Secured my bags. Oh. I'm back home and Ricardo had an esquite there for me. Get these are my favorite. I'm not gonna pass on no esquite there. Like I was telling you guys earlier, I feel like I've been really, really good about the balance that I've been talking about. I restrict myself with anything. I just try not to, like, I'm not gonna finish the esquite. I'm gonna take a couple bites. Hopefully, not finish it. It is my favorite. But I have all my groceries here. Well, this one is a bag that we got from Costco. And it kind of works as insulation so that our stuff doesn't go bad. So in here I just kind of put the milk and the meats. Didn't buy that many groceries because we did go to Costco the other day and our fridge is pretty stacked. I don't know if you guys can see from there. It was like fruits, veggies, and stuff like that. But I was missing um some ham. I got these sausages for just kind of hot dogs because during the summertime we love doing hot dogs on my mom. So I just got these just in case we have like a carne asada or like a hot dog day, or we can use this for Fourth of July. Chorizo, I don't love as well with chorizo. chorizo, so I had to get some of that. Some sour cream. I got some chiles verdes. These are my favorite for chiles rellenos. Calabacitas con chile, um, just to add to a sandwich or something. Those are bomb. Also, these mini cucumbers. I started doing the Din Tai Fung cucumbers. Oh my gosh, I love it. I have mastered the recipe. And then I also got milk. Got these green bananas because I do have a couple bananas here actually. I have three left and these are browning so I still have a couple but these are gonna get ripe in a couple of days. Um, my kitchen is always super hot because like our AC unit is in room so I like to close the door so that our room is like super super cold so I don't really care about the kitchen being cold because we're hardly ever in here and if we're in here we're cooking so it's like it's gonna get hot anyway so the kitchen is always like most of the time warm. So the bananas get ripe really fast. Some limones and some serranos. I also picked up some ketchup because we didn't have any. Some tortillas for a while. I wasn't buying any tortillas because I was trying to like eat more low carb and I would try to avoid tortillas like at all costs. But 
I'm telling you guys, since I've been like doing this kind of like more balanced eating and like just kind of get it, having a little bit more of a better relationship with food, like I don't oh, fear tortillas anymore. So I'll eat like a tortilla in the morning for breakfast or um, I'll eat like taquitos de pollo or tacos, whatever, like two or three tacos. Like it's all about the balance, ladies and gents. And then I got these, um, what are these called? How do you say sweat in English? This bag is full of black t-shirts that I bought for Ricardo and I, but mostly me because I like wearing like big t-shirts, kind of like this one. This one I got from Hollister. I got a couple more from Walmart to work out in because I feel like this is the only like black t-shirt I have. And when I get sweaty, I don't like it like that you can see through it when it's like gray or anything like that. And then the last things I got were these Heritage shampoo and conditioner. I actually have never tried the shampoo or the conditioner, but um, I've heard good things about the Heritage brand and I do have the volumizing spray and I really like it So I'm gonna give these a go. These are sulfate free Paraben free silicone free gluten free mineral oil free color safe cruelty free and vegan oh, baby come here. I also bought this what is this? this one's from Heritage as well. This one's a curl cream. You, should, you recently got a perm. Yes, sir. And so he's been using the weight curl cream, but I saw this one so I bought you this one. You can use okay, this one. I'll try, I'll try it out tomorrow morning. You can try it out. See if it's. And that one was like nine dollars. Oh, the weight one the is weight was like thirty. Thirty? Yeah. Like thirty-four. Um, I think it's thirty. I heard her teach is good. Cocoa oil. Mm, this is gel. Oh. It, you know, I've been slicking my hair back like this. I needed some gel. Oh, Bought this. Oh my favorite. Oh. Mm, I got him today, so that's pretty much the Walmart haul. Um, I can do it what I eat in a day video if you guys would like me to because I feel like um, I've been getting a lot better at it now. It's not good. I'm not taste trying. It. I don't just like taste it. it. Just one sip. One sip. One sip. It tastes like mango and electrolytes. I'm gonna put all this stuff away, and before I go, let me show you guys. When I got home, Ricardo had cleaned up our room. Remember how I told you guys we had moved it around? Well, I hope. You guys still go watch that video, but here is the room being clean. I love it. And also, we bought a sunset lamp, and it just it's vibes in our room. And also, at night we put the projector and Ricardo's speaker, like the JBL boombox. Oh my gosh, it's such vibes in our room. When you walk in, we have like the egg chair right here, and then this is like a foldable table that we were gonna use just to like eat on, but Ricardo just like packed all of our like the projector, the speaker, and the sunset lamp. I put the mirror here and then Bailey's stuff is right there, but we're thinking about buying Bailey a bed instead of having her in the kennel We're trying to wean her off of the kennel, but she doesn't sleep if she's not in the kennel So we just have to do it slowly But for now her kennel is right there and then I have this the nightstand that I had before next to the bed over here I have the fan here. Oh also the TV and the dresser is here now because we'll, our idea now is like this is our living room kind of and then that's like our bedroom so we'll watch tv on that wall with the projector and then like we can watch tv here like as a living room this is the bed we got new bed sheets and then i brought the olive tree from the office put it right there we have the cuadros right there but we never took them off so that's why they look weird that's pretty much it i have like the mirror over there i think it's horrible right now like even the sunset lamp it doesn't look good on camera we're gonna show you guys like the detailed tour on our channel like with good lighting and stuff so go watch that video but yeah, that's pretty much the room. I don't remember what I told you guys last about Nelly's quinceanera, but basically, we're not going to pick up her dress until, I believe, January. She picked her dress. She loves the blue one, and I'm so happy for her. We're going to start quinceanera prep, like, more things this summer, probably, leading more towards August and September, most likely. So stay tuned for that, but that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way